I just a quick video to show you Sonja Mod 9 running on a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 GTP3110. That's the one without the IR blaster. You see there. Um, Wi Fi only. Uh, it's completely stable release, works perfectly. You can use it for. I use it for my everyday ROM and I've been using it for a few days. I rooted it with, and I installed it using Clockwork Mod Recovery, but you. But I had a couple of problems with it, so but the, probably the easiest way to do it is through ROM Manager. You go to once you're rooted, it will work fine. Go to Download ROM and Synergen Mod. I won't show you how to root it because I don't want to go through the scare of possibly bricking it again. But it's perfectly stable, works just like a vanilla I, uh, Android operating system would work on a new device, and I think it's better than what what comes with your Samsung with your touch with you user interface because I think the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 comes with great hardware for its price but it's completely ruined by Samsung's stupid Android t tweaks like touch with I hate user interface so laggy they've taken out a lot of features of Android but th with this you get back your vanilla Android status bar plain how it, sh how it should be Play Store works fine if we go into settings, you can see that's Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, work fine. There are some wrong references to things that you don't really need because you don't really need to tether something if it's only if it's Wi-Fi only, which is a bit silly. But other than that, battery usage is much much better running Synergen Mod. I charge it, you get much much more usage. If I charged this yesterday. And I've been using it quite heavily since then, and I'm only up. I'm only down to. Let's see. Oh, I can't be more than 80% back, less than 80% battery. But all your widgets work, all your apps work. You can get, you can take off your bloatware, but of course, with such a small internal hard drive on this, you just see eight gigabytes. It's not even eight gigabytes. This, and you get you get 4.59 gigabytes and that's but that's because of Android operating system uh, files so clockwork mod recovery does take up a lot of space but I found that I can go into onto my computer and delete the aura folder from Android and that gives me it gave me a lot more space and as long as you keep the number of apps to to a minimum it's it's well worth rooting your device and installing this I can't wait till Synergy Mod 10 comes out with a stable release because I'm not, I don't, I'm not really want to go on nightly builds, which are often quite dangerous and broken and buggy. So if I just show you about tablet, you just see Android version 4.0.4, Synergy Mod version 9.0.0, GTP3110. Right, and that's about it. Um, and the only thing that it did that it does like and uh, it does like a uh, built-in file browser. You can get them from the Play Store, but I don't find them quite as intuitive to use as the standard Android ones. But it's m m massive performance improvement on the original TouchWiz interface. But also, you can underclock the processor, which can save a lot more battery. On top of the also massive savings now, you could probably underclock it, and it would only be as good, and it would be as good as your standard TouchWiz one, which wasn't, however bad it was, it wasn't quite terrible enough to make not to mean you not buying the tablet. But I think overall, it's a great custom ROM. It's a stable release. Um, I will write up a guide on how to root it properly and install Cyanogen Mod 10, 9 sorry but I can't wait till Cyanogen Mod 10 comes out because you get all the advantages of Android Jelly Bean but Ice Cream Sandwich, if you're looking for an ice cream sandwich you're, you're effectively buying a tablet with as good hardware as the, the Nexus 7 because the performance improvement on the means that the processor it feels like it's a quad-core Tegra 3 like on the Nexus 7 and you're also running vanilla Android. While it's not quite Jelly Bean, it is Ice Cream Sandwich. So it's relatively up to date and works how Android should be. Thanks for watching.